Alright guys, welcome back to another sweet tutorial and in this video I want to show you guys how to add particles to your game and this is actually really cool for things like explosions and when things get destroyed it gives you guys a nice cool effect so right now of course whenever our ball gets destroyed it just kinda disappears which is I don't know kinda stupid in my opinion so let's go ahead and make it blow up so the first thing we want to do is we need to insert a new object into our layout so double click your layout and choose this right here particles and choose insert now for just right now we can just add it to anywhere on the game and once we click we see we get this weird little um, blue box and this little um, editor pops out basically what we need to do is we need, need to first give it a base image basically saying okay what do you want me to make particles out of if you're gonna blow something up what are the pieces of it gonna be so since we're gonna make this goal or excuse me this uh, what's it called the target ball the bucky face whatever let's go ahead and load that bucky ball in first and now we can just well we can edit everything from here I guess so the first thing I want to do actually it would probably be easier if I just did that so close out of that and the first thing I want to do is change the settings because right now if we just play it it looks kinda weird this is the default settings it just is like um, that one thing shaking around like it kinda looks like a spray so the first thing I want to do is set the spray cone so make sure that you have that selected and under the where is it spray cone right here under the regular properties set this to 360 so now whenever you hit enter it doesn't just spray in that one direction like you're spraying with a Windex bottle. It actually, I'll show you guys what these do one by one. It actually sprays in every direction, kind of more like an explosion. Now after this, what you can do is set the speed equal to 100. Actually, not that. Speed equal 200. Where is it? Right here. Speed randomizer equal to 100. And what this is going to do is it's going to make your uh, particles more random. And this is good because you don't want all of your particles coming out at the exact same velocity or it's going to look kind of weird. So let's go ahead and change that speed randomizer. And the last thing I want to do is this. Right now whenever you play it, okay, so it kind of looks like a constant stream of like, uh, not an explosion, just like a constant stream of crap being uh, sprayed at you or something so we want one blast one explosion so how do we do that well if we go to type and let me try to find it type right here continuous spray go to one shot and now whenever we do that it's gonna just blow up one time how awesome is that and refresh so that is pretty much exactly what we want one big burst so now that we got our explosion taken care of when we learn how to make a cool explosion effect what we need to do is add the logic to say okay add this effect whenever the ball or whenever we reach the goal the ball is destroyed so head over to your event sheet and the first thing you want to do is you want to add another action for the on collision with ground because we already got the two events that we need um, these are the two events basically whenever the balls are destroyed so add an action right here and the action of course is going to be what we're gonna do is actually spawn another object so hit target ball spawn another object and the object is oh let me do this first this might be a little easier to see take this particle effect and name it explosion so basically now we can go ahead and add another object target ball spawn another object that explosion right here they kinda look the same before so that's why I had to name it and of course the layer that we want this to appear on is one because that's where all the cool stuff is and image point zero pretty much means it originates for the center just like before so basically now when this ball collides with the ground destroy the original ball make it disappear and add your explosion and also the same for this so target ball spawn another object and the object for this is also explosion on layer one 
So now whenever we hit it with a meatball or this collides with the ground, we can go ahead and uh, make it explode. And we can get this out of the way for right now. We might have to edit that later so we won't. We'll just keep it off screen. So now let me go ahead and just fire a meatball. And that time the meatball hit it. And now let me go ahead and have it hit the ground and check it out. So again, it looks really cool. And actually what I would probably do is I don't really like it that a bunch of little balls. So I would probably um, make this new explosion um, use like a fire image or something like that. But that looks pretty cool for now. I just want to teach you guys the basics of how to add particles and also um, you know like how to add cool effects and spawn another image or a particle effect right from there whenever you destroy it. I'm rambling on now so I'm gonna shut the heck up and uh, well I'll see you guys next time.